Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to another Sims 4 gallery video. Today we're finally going to be going through the hashtag tropical builds for Samaj. And while I was going through this, I was like, you know what, we should probably do a base game one where you can only use the base game, no expansions, no stuff packs, no game packs. So if you want to get in on that for next time round, let's do hashtag base game builds for Samaj. That's going to be the next one. Base game only, no expansions, no stuff packs, no game packs. But this time, all about the tropical theme. And I said I didn't have to require island living, though most of these do, but I specifically chose one that was just base game so that we could have a look at that too. So this first one is the Silani Catamaran by Shine Heilig 1603. I tried. Uh, so they said they actually originally built this in another world and it was sort of moved to Silani when that came out. So that's really cool. So I don't know if they changed anything else, but I didn't see the first one either, but we're gonna check this out now. Uh, and also let's see, hashtag Yacht Catamaran. Good, no two timing, I like that. Okay, cool, <laughs> let's jump in. So this is what it looks like and I think this, okay, first of all, I saw it from the side because that's, that's what you see in like this sort of uh, gallery photo. I was like, that looks sweet. That looks so good. And then, because I, I, then I was like, oh yeah, it's a catamaran. So of course it's going to be like this, where a catamaran is one where they have like two hulls. So it's sort of this beautiful, I don't know, it looks... It looks sick. It just looks really, really good. And some of the boat builds in that people have made in general for Island Living ha have been like really, really cool. I just wish that we could do like a proper, like, you know, floating boat rather than it foundation going all the way down. But you know, you can use your imagination a little bit. So I guess we should just get into it. Let's start down here. Uh, I guess, well, you know what? Let's just do this. So we're gonna go up here and we go, oh, they've used a little bit of marble here as well at the front. Got the sign of the boat there. Which way do we go? I guess there's actually, you know what? There's a lot of detail to this. Like the, the grate there with the drains and then the lights and all these benches and everything. Oh, the glass there in the middle. What does it look like at night? Ooh, <laughs> dude, this top bit here, what is going on here? This looks, there's so much stuff happening in here that it, it looks like legit. There's, oh, that's awesome. They've used like clocks halfway through as like dials and all that. Oh man. And then like just even this bit here in the middle where it's like, uh, what is it? So it's got a little bit of this, got a little bit of this. Oh my God. This would have taken ages just like piecing like all these different things together. Got some counters in there. Got some vents. We got some columns. Some gutters, a satellite, the flag. Oh, it is, it is so good. I see the thing is, I see people build these, and I'm like, I could, yeah, I could try and build like a boat, but it's just never, it's not the same. All right, it's not, it's just not the same. So instead, I love to look at them because they're so inspiring. So if we go around here, I guess you go this way and come around the back. So let's, we'll go. Obviously, upstairs is the sort of the deck. Uh, very nice sitting area here, actually, with the glass looking down. Let's have a look inside. So you go in, very classy, nice big living room. The kitchen area is right here as well. And then we go over this way. So we've got stairs going down, I think, either side. I guess, yeah, to each of the um, the hulls of the ship. So I'm gonna go down. Is this the poop deck? No, that's not. <laughs> that's not terminology that makes any sense right now. Uh, what is the poop deck? Is that, I gotta. A poop deck is a deck that forms the roof of a cabin built in the rear or aft part of the superstructure of a ship. Okay, so I guess like here? Is that the poop deck or is it like here? I, you know what? I don't know. <laughs> cool. Okay, so we're down here again. Uh, we've got a door in here, which is going to go to oh, a little wardrobe area, like a changing area, like a little storage. Okay, so a little storage section down here for food and all that, I guess. And straight down this way, I guess we're going to have like sleeping quarters and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so we've got a nice little cabin down here. I guess it's probably for multiple sims. Maybe it's like, I guess it could be one of those ships that you sort of rent a room on. Like it's not obviously not a full cruise ship, but maybe you'd rent this out and sort of enjoy it for the time. Look at this. It's like some fancy ass like parlor room kind of thing. <laughs> and then down, oh, and then down the end. Look at this room. The master suite. This is good. This is, this is in just one of the uh, hulls of the ship too. We're going to see what's in the other side. So this is really... Oh, I didn't even notice this. Dude, this is luxurious. This is what you want. Hell yeah, that is sweet. That's really, really cool. Got the little sort of ship windows out there you can see as well. And just heading down to the other side now. So let's see if this varies. Oh, okay, well, it's already varied. There's a door there. So in here, oh, this is like a, oh, okay, this is a bathroom. Oh, it's, no, it's not, it's a sauna. Dude, <laughs> very nice. So we've got a sauna in here. Over this way, okay, well that's a, not a lot of privacy on this one, is there? 
<laughs> I would imagine that they would have some sort of blind or something there, but that's pretty funny. So down the hallway, walk-in robe there to the left, heading down the hall. Nice, nice little hallway as well, like the other one. In the first door we have, oh, okay, so another double bedroom. Uh, and ensuite as well, very nice. These ensuites are super nice dude. This looks pretty similar to the other one, but obviously the bedroom's a little smaller and not quite as fancy as the other one, but very nice. And down the end of this one, what do we have? Ooh, so this is looking, I think, probably pretty similar to the other one. Yeah, it almost seems like it could be like a boat that you would rent and, um, and sort of go, I don't know, would multiple different, and have like staff working on it, I guess. Yeah, so we've got the, oh, and they had an ensuite there as well. Yeah, so very similar, just flipped around. So we've got nice big double bedroom at that end, nice big double bedroom there, the ensuites for both of them, this sweet like rec room kind of thing, and we've got the sauna over here. Upstairs is the main living area, outdoor dining, and then up top was the sweet uh, control, I don't know, the brig? No, the bridge. That's, I was close, that's like the brig. Hang on, that's a complete, like that's completely opposite. No, the bridge. Okay, yeah, so the bridge on the top there. That has like sun deck as well. This is sweet, this is really cool. This next one is called Private Island and it's by Brookie Boo 123. I saw these roof shapes in the picture and I was just like, this looks, it just looks really interesting and I want to check it out. Uh, so this is a very large beach mansion on the private island lot. So let's go ahead and have a look. Uh, it looks pretty damn sweet. Like this looks super cool. <laughs> it's, and it's like something so different as well to what I would build. So I find it really, really cool. I love, I love the roof. Like there's sort of the, all the, all the a sort of A-frame roofing everywhere, especially used as like this sort of walkway feature and it's used as shades and all that. It's something really different that I, oh, that palm tree going in there as well. The landscaping around this is really cool. The sort of bonfire pit here as well. Oh, that's cool. Oh, the hot tub around the side. All these stepping, oh my God, these are all placed individually as well. <laughs> Damn, that's awesome. That looks so good. And then got the lounges out the back, some nice decking chairs, got the ladder into the ocean there. The easel, the bar underneath, and then the, the aqua zips right there. Oh, that little, yeah, that table in there. Like, it's like, I love this area here where it's like sort of nestled in, but then the rest of the house is sort of up and above. The landscaping on this is awesome. And then, yeah, lots of nice, lots of really nice outdoor areas, which makes sense. So let's go ahead and explore the inside. So we walk through this. This entrance is stunning. Like, this is really beautiful. So you come in, okay, into the living room. Beautifully detailed. I would expect nothing less from a build like this. Really, really nice. Nice big windows everywhere, which I think is kind of important. Through this way, with the stairs up there, bathroom to the left. Very nice little, oh, it's like the, isn't that the toddler stuff rug and it's like scaled down heaps? Very nice. Bathroom in there, kitchen straight ahead. A uh, little, little tight through here, but that's okay. The kitchen, because that may be tight there, but the kitchen, oh boy, this opens up. Oh, damn, look at this. Oh, they use, you know what? I haven't really used the, hang on. I have not really used these counters. I gotta look at this. I don't even know that they had this side bit on them. Like, oh, that's awesome. They have like the sort of waterfall counters. Oh, I gotta use these. But how come they still haven't added an actual island counter? Anyway, let's not, let's not get into that right now. But that looks really cool. I didn't know that they did that because I never gave them any attention. This kitchen is beautiful. I wish I didn't leave my mouse on that now because now it's highlighted, but oh well. Uh, really nice kitchen there through back this way to another living area. Ooh, like a fancy living area. Very nice. And then another bathroom laundry. Oh, a little laundry. Okay. A little laundry in there. Cool, cool. So the kitchen there, and that obviously opens up to the outside, which we already had a sort of look around the outside, but there it is again. <laughs> really good. And then through this way. What's in this door? Oh, is that just outside as well? Yeah. Okay. So I think that was uh, downstairs. Time to head up. I love how they have all these sort of... Uh, all these sort of collection photos, or like all the underwater photos that you take as well on the wall there, going up. Come up here, we've got a nice view outside. And the first door here is, it appears to be a very nice double bedroom, little office desk. Oh, the skylights as well, yeah. Ooh, nice really open sort of ensuite, which is really, really cool. Oh, I love that, I love this, Um, what you do with the sinks there, where you sort of put the shelf over them, have the sinks sort of sitting through them. That looks really nice. Really, really good looking bedroom. And then back down the hallway on the other side, what do we have here? Oh, oh, <laughs> ooh, ooh, feasible. Through here we got another, oh wow, look at this. Damn, imagine like being in this room. I'm using a bit of imagination, imagining that you could slide like some sort of door closed, but obviously in Sims we don't have like these giant sliding doors. Cause I don't know that I'd want my bathroom open at all times. 
I mean, sometimes the bathroom open is okay, but at least the toilet I would prefer to probably be closed in a room. But that looks stunning like that, though. It looks really, really good. Oh, I don't know, like, that view of the, the rest of the structure, like, I guess being on a private island, you probably want views of the ocean, but I think that view to me looks amazing, of just seeing the rest of the structure over there. I don't know, I really love it. Around here, another little desk, a little bookcase, skylights, beautiful. So then I guess this is the next section where you sort of come out here, sort of indoor, outdoor, what do you call this, like a breezeway, is that what it's called? When you have it sort of open, but it's like undercover still. And then through into this room, which is presumably the master bedroom. Oh boy, this is... Look at this. Imagine... Oh, this would, this would freak me out though. The glass on the floor... Okay, glass on the roof. Okay, glass on the floor, that would probably freak me out so much. I would not want to walk on that or put my desk on it. Uh, but having said that, this room is beautiful. This is definitely like... This is the room you would get this house for, for sure. It's amazing. And then we've got, the, again, the nice open bathroom there, the wardrobe there, and I think... That is the sort of the private island home. Yeah, that is that is really good. Next up, we have the Tropical Earth Ship by Emmy Bouquet. Uh, this, I was just like, this is a really interesting way to take this theme because obviously a lot of people want to use water and beach lots and boats and all that. And that's amazing. Don't get me wrong. Those last two already really, really nice. But then this is just, uh, well, just, sorry, I shouldn't say just, but it is a lot on the land. There's no like water. But it's using the world and it's something really different and really creative. Earthships are made of natural upcycled materials and are intended to be an off the grid ready homes. They are constructed to use available natural resources like energy from the sun and rainwater and very often they look pretty wacky. So this is actually an off the grid home as well. So here we are. This is really, this looks amazing. Some of the things that you guys build are just so stunning. Like, look at this, all the detail, like the tires going up there. So obviously that's the recycled element. Um, and I guess the idea of an earthship is an actual thing that I've not heard before, but I'm definitely gonna have to look into this using fully recycled materials. I, I assume like totally self-sustaining like, uh, self as well. Uh, and you could just live here forever like this. Look at that, come on. <laughs> look, that's so good. I love it. All right, let's have it, let's keep going around the outside. Oh my god, all the vines over it too. Nice windows. This looks beautiful. Actually, I have noticed the game does this though. I can't remember it wants like so <laughs> this is not this is not about the build, it's about the game. The the roof eve, you can see the roof eve there is like sloping up. I can't remember why it does that. There's like a reason for it. I think because it's on a diagonal and like on this side. I don't know, it's weird. Anyway, sorry, I just wanted to <laughs> Point that out. Um, yeah, going around the oh, they got the, the sort of yeah, using the the glass roof texture as like windows is always really really nice too. And that comes around here, and also all those curved roofs really blend nicely into the terrain. Oh, a little bee box outside too. Oh, a little sort of veggie patch, a uh, little bucket, or I guess like I don't know, whatever your gardening bucket or whatever. Um, but let's go ahead and have a look inside. Oh, little water bottles there, very nice. <laughs> this is so good. This looks amazing. I want to live in this. Oh, you go inside. Okay, look at this. The roof. Even the roof details. They've so they've overlaid all the roofs, but they've cut out the middle and opened it up, and they've used like the the uh, floor trims to create like these sort of rafters going along the top. Looks great. Oh my god. This is so detailed. Look at this. <laughs> so I'm like blown away by how detailed this like little section is. <laughs> it is. Really nice. I gotta use these counters. Everyone's using these. I feel left out. Why am I not using these? I guess I, the reason I didn't use them is because they didn't have island counters, but it turns out I should just use them like that. It looks sweet. Uh, circular table over there in the corner. This spot here is really, really picturesque. Looking out there, down the hill, you can see the other house that we looked at just before as well. But this sort of, this sort of little area right here, nice. And then through here, obviously to the bedroom, which has a nice big window as well. It's also quite open. Uh, really, no wait, where? Oh, it's like, wait, where do we go to the toilet? It's in here, isn't it, behind this? I was like, I didn't even see that at first. Yeah, oh, wow. Dude, look at this. Oh, that's awesome. That is so nice. Imagine taking a dump in here, sitting right here. Got the beautiful sky above you. <laughs> this would be like an amazing like holiday home or something. You'd go away. Go here. Dude, this is great. This is so cool. Oh, they're like, I love that. And that's almost like a cooling element, like heat would rise and sort of like flow out of these as well. I love it. I absolutely love this one. 
So the next one is the base game Beach House by Colleen Martins. And as the name suggests, it is base game only. So it doesn't require any expansions. It doesn't require anything. You can just put this in your game. You could put it in Solani if you want, blend it into the world, or you could just use it in any other world. Uh, so this is a beach house for those who don't or can't have island living. but still want to play like they're in the tropic. So this is it here. I think this is really, really beautiful. I love that. Uh, I love the, the landscaping around it. I wish that um, the base game worlds did have some sand, like sand lots somewhere. I guess it makes sense that they don't, but anyway. <laughs> if you look at it like this, it's like, yay, beach. I really love it being on the stilts though. That is such like a beach vibe, very like Queenslander vibe, which is a type of house from Queensland, Australia, uh, as the name may suggest. Anyway, I got this really nice like outdoor area. Obviously you could go swimming in the pool if you want. That is a pool, right? Not a fountain. It is a pool. Uh, so let's go inside. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So going inside here, we have the main living area here as well. We've got the kitchen section just back there, all tucked away. Through here to the right. Man, this is this is open. This is an open bathroom. You get the bathroom in there. Around to the left, we have uh, the, I guess, main bedroom. Is that a bedroom there too? Or is that just a, oh, so it's like a little study or like a little studio with a guitar and all that. And then we have the main bedroom there as well. So that is pretty much it. It's just like a little, little beach home that you can sort of come in, move in and sort of get living. How much does this cost actually? I'm wondering. 53,000. I wonder how much it costs without the pool. 25,000. So if, if you wanted to like move in, you could use this as a starter home for sure. I think if you sort of maybe remove some of the plants. Although having said that, actually, if you use the uh, Creative Sims stories now where you sort of do the questionnaire, you can get Sims that actually start with a bit more money. So that actually might, this actually might work really, really well for that. And I was going to say, I assume as well that this is an off the grid home. I kind of suspected it because there's candles everywhere and it's a base game home. So these are, these are kind of like the only lights in base game that you can use. Because uh, I know, because I was trying to do one before and I was like, this is really difficult. <laughs> so that makes sense. So this is also an off the grid home, which is really cool. So off the grid, sunny aspect and bracing breezes. So that is the base game Beach House. So last but not least, we have the Floating Abode by Sabatron Can Not. Uh, this cozy home is built upon many coral reefs in the lagoon in Sulani. It includes a wide deck that looks out onto the water with an open plan interior and a range of ocean-like colors. So I saw this in the gallery and I was like, this just, again, the, the shapes are so interesting. It's all diagonal. We got these roofs heading all the way up over the house. There's like glass skylights and all that. I was like, I gotta, I gotta look at this in the game. I really, really want to see what this looks like. So we're going to go down, we're going to go onto the balcony or onto the deck and we'll go to the house first. Uh, yeah, we'll go to the house first. So this is the living area, ocean light colors. Let's see it. Oh, we've got a nice little grass area. Actually, I really like that. It's like, just bringing a little bit of the grass to the inside. I actually really like that. It's a nice use of that because it's a weird, it's definitely a weird little nook and cranny to deal with. <gasps> oh, did they do a custom painting in here? Or is this just one that's in the game now? I don't know, but that looks, that looks awesome. Sorry, I just saw that. Going down, uh, <laughs> getting ahead of myself. So we got the main living area here, loads of windows and natural light. You can basically see something in every Every direction like of the outside just really really nice oh is that open back there Ooh, <laughs> i love it all right so let's go oh what's over here so this is kind of like a conservatory kind of thing so we've got big sloping glass there and nice little areas that you can sort of do a little bit of gardening in and then through here is a bathroom is my guess yay i'm so good at finding bathroom bathroom shower toilet all that kind of good stuff very nice around the other side is nothing. It goes to the outside. Oh, barbecue. Uh, stereo over there. Back through this way, we've got the kitchen, dining. I actually, I really like the dining table sort of tucked away there too. Uh, oh, that's cool. So you've got like the little laundry nook and it almost looks like you would imagine like some sort of sliding door or something going over it. And you might be wondering, it's like, why do you always say there's going to be sliding doors and everything when there clearly isn't? That's how I imagine it. And you can imagine it however you want to. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, kitchen area here. I really like that this is open here as well. Really nice, get that breeze in. Nice little ceiling fan there. And that is the downstairs, let's head on up. Yeah, are, they, are these new paintings or are they, have they done like custom paintings in here? Cause they look amazing if they're like actually in the game and I gotta use them. Uh, so we've got the little office area there. We've got a few different doors to go through. So let's have a look at this one. Nice little single bedroom here. Ooh, skylight. <laughs> Ooh, and through this way, we've got a double bedroom, potentially the master bedroom. Oh, look at that. I don't know, I'm, I'm really, oh, wait, yeah, this has got to be custom paintings. They've, yeah, they've totally done, look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to figure out how to do this because these can be placed on the gallery and it's not counted as custom content, but that looks amazing, doesn't it? 
Anyway. <laughs> anyway, so we go, go down here into the ensuite bathroom, I would presume. Very nice. Very, very nice. And back out this way. We'll put the roof back on. There we go. Back out into the other room, which is just over here. And a nice another another double bedroom here. Probably for like a teenager or something like that. A window there. Oh, okay. That's like a roof. I thought it was like a little balcony you could get to. Anyway, so that's the interior. Then outside we got a nice big deck area here. We've got the barbecue around that side, around the back. We have this. This one is the nice big open one. Oh, we've got like clothesline out here. This one would be so good to sit on and just chill. Imagine if you lived here. Yeah, this house is sweet. Nice canoe as well. Oh yeah, they've done some like little coral reef stuff underneath as well. Just a little bit here and there. But that is the floating abode. Anyway, that's it for this episode of Your Gallery Builds. Thank you everyone that made one for this. You can also check out everyone else's by searching the hashtag Tropical Builds for Samaj. And there's some really, really incredible things there. Uh, and next time, like I said, we're going to be doing base game builds for Samaj. So only use base game. If you use any packs or anything like that, I won't be looking at them. It's going to be purely base game so everyone can download them and see what amazing kind of things that you can actually make. But I hope you enjoy this part. If you want to download any of these houses or check out anyone that created these, it's all linked in the description down below. Click those links or search their usernames on the gallery and you'll be able to find those right there. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time and have an awesome day.